Good day, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm, of course, Kalflos, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions here, Legends of Runeterra, where we are going to be doing the four star targeting campaign against Aurelian Sol, and we are going to be using Kindred for today's run. So, first of all, I am frankly not looking forward to this, uh, mainly because I am terrible at the Kindred. I think that's a really well known and established fact. If you caught my previous video, I don't really like the Kindred. I think that's probably down to my personal experience. I'm not really that great at, uh, you know, lining up combos and stuff like that. But, yeah, that's just my personal problem with it, so obviously it's not necessarily going to reflect your experience. I think the Kindred is a good champion, obviously. If it's not, you know, it's probably not going to be in this mode. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it and see how we do. So basically, in terms of the Kindred here, we are running a level 21 and 2 star Kindred. So in terms of the star powers, we have a Circle of Death plus 1 starting mana round start create a Spirit Journey in hand. If you already have one, reduce its cost by 2. Ashes to Ashes round start summon a Prey. If you already have one, instead grant your Prey last breath, deal 1 3 enemy Nexus. So regarding these two powers, the Spirit Journey is probably going to be really important for this one, uh, from what I found at least in my time grinding. Uh, the Spirit Journey will probably be helpful because that would be a really good way to trigger the uh, mark on the Kindred. And triggering the mark is also going to be extremely important because the more marks you trigger essentially means more kills and more kills will mean uh, more stat buffs on the Kindred here. So Ashes to Ashes, the power is also fairly useful. Quite frankly, because the Prey here will get a last breath deal one to the enemy Nexus. And one thing to note for those of you who are new is that the Prey damage here will actually stack. So if, let's say you're on round 7, the Prey should deal 6 damage, provided, you know, the Prey was summoned on the turn 1. Uh, so on and so forth with the turn 2 and whatnot. You guess, you're just going to have to play around with the uh, permutations and stuff like that. But essentially, this damage will stack. That's what I wanted to get across, so it could be fairly useful. In terms of the champion level here, we have a level 21 Kindred, which means I do have access to level 20 game start droid champion. I am missing out on the 3rd Relic slot as well as the 40 Star Nexus health, but I think it should be fine. We're going to see how this works, because in terms of the Relics, we are going to be running a Laurent Blade Rack as well as a Corrupted Star Fragment. So Allies of Challenger here, I think, is really important on the Kindred because the way we want this to work is, you know, to have the Kindred be able to challenge the units that it wants to challenge, uh, in turn being able to kill those units as well as trigger the mark, and killing those mark units, like I mentioned earlier, will give Kindred a plus two plus two. So CSF here is also fairly useful because that way we get a guaranteed kill. The Kindred will be summoning prey every round. Well, not the Kindred, but the Kindred power will be summoning prey every round, and the chances of you killing that prey is fairly high, so that's why we're running the CSF here. We kill that supported prey, that's going to count towards the slay here, and what's going to happen is that that, you know, the same procedure is going to happen. You're going to be able to mark your enemy, kill the mark enemy upon round end, and you get the stat buff, etc, etc. So yeah, that's definitely why we're going with this build here. But yeah, we're going to see how this goes. This is my first time running a Kindred into the Aurelian Sol. Not looking forward for this, because like I said, I am kind of terrible with the Kindred, but we'll see how we do. Alright, we're all loaded in. First things first, let's see what the Aesol is running. He has a perfected mana flow. Okay, the Fizz here has duplicate. The Jin over here has unyielding. And the Swain down here has unyielding as well. Alright, um, could be a little bit challenging unyielding that early on, but we'll see how we do. Let's set the first power note and let's hope we get something OP. Get Spellburn and Feebling Strike, Afterlife Forbidden. We're gonna reroll. I don't really like any of these if I'm gonna be honest. Line weight, endurance, bouncing blades. Yeah, I don't really fancy any of these either. We're gonna reroll again. Explosive entrance, feral senses, and trifarian might. Five plus power ally isn't really gonna help us. Um, it could be useful later on though, but uh, we need to hope that we get a buff on the kindred. Well, that could actually help with the. Um, what is it? What's that thing again? It, that could actually help with the mark, in all honesty. But. We'll have to see. We could also take advantage of that with the, with the Tortured Prodigy. But I, I think I would like something a little bit more aggressive. So we're going to spend some rewards here. I hope we could get a stun or a rally. That would be great. Nature's Revenge, Officer Backup. We're going to reroll again. This could be a bad decision. Probably should have picked that up earlier. And of course, it's a bad decision. We have to pick up something else. I think we're just going to go with a raiding party. Grant the top ally in your deck plus one plus one with the enemy Nexus damage. Should be okay. We're going to grab that. Right, we're gonna head to the Swain here. Alright, so we draw Kindred here. We don't really need that because we are guaranteed to draw it on the turn one. We'll get rid of her. We'll get rid of Tortured Prodigy, Crumble, and the Black Spear as well. And since they're all really expensive. Uh, right, let's drop the... 
think we'll drop the wings and the no. Do we want to drop fading? I no. We'll drop wings and the wave. Life is the rain that splits the skies. We'll block with this guy because we want the two preys to survive. That is basically guaranteed damage here. Fading icon on. I think we're gonna attack like so straight up. We'll actually hang the praise back. Ready. Let's drop Phantom Prankster. No one's the wiser. We'll drop the Kindred, I believe. And we'll kill all of these sprays here. Alright, this is what we'll do. Attacking like so should be beneficial because not only do we kill this um, Legion Grenadier, we should be able to kill this Legion Saboteur as well after uh, triggering Kindred's Mark, I believe. I think so. I hope that's the right call. Yep. Unless we get a Death Lotus here, of course. Um, it's cool though. I think we'll still play Spirit Journey. Probably have to Sky Survive. Yeah, I want this guy to survive. We'll play a Spirit Journey with the Kindred Spirit Journey here. Play Crumble, kill the Sky, and kill the Swain. Hold on, why doesn't that trigger Slay? I thought we killed that guy there. We killed our unit. And we killed the Swain. That should have triggered Slay. Because each round the first time you slay a unit, I mark the weakest enemy. So, killing our unit here... Mark Swain, and that spell killed Swain, so that should have triggered the Mark, the Slay here with the Kindred. Why didn't she level up? I don't know, we're just gonna pass the turn, that's so unfortunate. I thought um, we could level uh, up there, which is a little bit sad. Right, we're gonna play Spirit Journey on our Kindred because... Um, No, we'll not do that. Let's um, attack like so first. No, I tell you what. Let's bring on the Proji. I have a better idea. Alright, we'll now play Spirit Journey on our Kindred. Because... I want it to survive. I know this seems crazy, but uh, we get a full health Kindred that way. That one damage would have died regardless because of the Swain Suffer here. So, yeah, we needed to make sure that we were able to kill it. Um, let's attack like so. We'll actually put... Okay, this works. And we deal fifty we, we deal twenty damage that way, I believe, right? I'm not really sure. We get fifteen back because of the unyielding. There's a different calculation because of the unyielding here. So I think we'll just let this resolve. It's cool. Okay, 
Okay, 20 health back on the enemy there. We have 9 cards left. We need to be careful about that as well. Um, we're not going to play Spirit Leech because I don't want to draw too many cards at the present moment. I think we'll just play Crumble and kill this Ballista here. So we're going to get rid of this guy and kill this Ballista. No, not the 26, the 5 4. Alright, round end should kill this guy. Whoa. 15, 16 wings and the wave. I'm playing this. <laughs> this is kind of insane. Um, yeah, we're playing this for sure. We could have gotten an 18, 18 card instead, but it's cool. All right. I think we have a way out. Let's just drag this fair in here. And we should get the victory. Alright, Dawning, Shadow, Tribe, Improbilator, and Icequake as well. I think we are probably going to just grab a... I don't really like any of these, if I'm going to be honest. Kill a unit and give all enemies minus 2, minus 0. Really good spell, but 7 cost. That's the problem. Um, Tribeam here. Deal 1 to a unit. Summon a random 1 cost follower. While I'm in hand, we increase both by 1 when you play a 3 cost card. I think this might be good. Icequake is definitely not what I'm considering. Deal 3 to all units is not my ideal choice of a spell. You know, I think we'll still go with Dawning Shadow. It is fairly expensive, but I think we should be able to circumvent because we can have the spell mana to compensate, so it could be useful. Alright, let's set to the support champion here. We get Quinn, we get Esper, and we get Scion. Hmm, I think... We might want to go with Esvero. Because, first of all, Esvero is elusive. We'll probably... Would you know if it push comes to shove, we can probably just have Kindred kill uh, the Esro and get the elusive. Um, getting that static shock or the you know true shot barrage here to essentially deal spell damage could also be useful. You know, spell damage to slay that could be useful. That's what I'm trying to say. I think we'll go with Esro. I'm not really sure if this is the best choice, but we can't really spend any rerolls. I don't really fancy the Scion here. The Quinn could be okay, but Scion is probably not what I want. I think we're just gonna go with the Esro. Alright, we have a Poppy with Unyielding, a Karma with Unstable. I think we're gonna head to the Poppy because Poppy scales better with us. Karma is a straight out, you know, aggression, which could be a little bit problematic for our deck. So I think we are gonna take on the Poppy and then head to the Champion Item Chest. We're gonna give up the shop. Huh? Right, let's get a Spirit Leech, the Black Spear, and the True Shot. We'll keep the Kindred that we draw. Can attack, no units that we have are cheap. We're gonna have to pass the turn. So unfortunate. It's always such a shame when we can't draw a cheap unit. What can you do, you know? Sometimes RNG is that way. Right, I'm gonna bring on the Esper here. She could have played the Static Shock, but uh, it's cool. I'm not killing this prey yet because essentially I want the stat buff, uh, you know, on the Kindred. Well, not really stat buff, but I want that, um, what is it, the, yeah, basically the stat buff, the four, um, four, five stat buff, I guess, on the Kindred. Hopefully that makes sense. Alright, let's deal two to this guy. Straight to the Nexus, I guess. Sure. 
The poor Ossie are gonna die, so we'll let it happen. Right, Poppy's gonna come on here, and there's actually a way to finesse this to ensure that uh, we kill the Poppy. We're gonna play Spirit Journey, we're gonna kill the 2-4. That way Poppy becomes the weakest enemy, and I believe Poppy should get the mark. If we check Oracle Eye, that should be true. Yep, that is true. Alright, we're gonna put the zero one here. There's nothing to kill, that's the problem. Can we just play Spirit Leech straight up like that? And uh, yeah, we actually can. What about Mass Mother? We can also do the same thing. But I really don't want to do that, I feel. It's a little bit of a waste because we might want to get the keywords. I don't want to give up the S-Rail as well. I think we'll do it. We might want to just push elusive damage as much as we can. Could be risky, could be stupid as well, I don't deny, but uh, we'll try it. That might be the most stupidest decision to make to kill the Astro, but uh, only time will tell and, you know, decide if that was uh, right or wrong, I'd say. Um, we're gonna go ahead and drop Prodigy here. Okay, I think that was the right call. Because this is what we'll do. Yep, that was definitely the right call. Right, so this unit will die, and we're golden. A rally would actually be really good here, that way we could attack constantly. But um, I'll take what we've got. So what we're gonna do here, I guess, is we're gonna bring on the other Ezreal. And the prankster. Alright, again we'll do the same thing. Drag this 1-2 here. Actually, we'll put the 1-2 here. We'll drag this 4-6 here. That way... Yeah, that way we guarantee damage onto the Nexus. That's beautiful. Alright, we can actually play a couple of um, true shots here, I believe. Uh, no, we don't have an we, we we don't have enough mana. Okay, it's cool. Um, I think we'll play Mystic Shot straight to the Nexus then. Firing. Yeah, we'll play all our Mystic Shots straight to the Nexus. Alright, so we free these up for potentially the next turn. Uh, and what, what I mean by free it up is, you know, get rid of the spell shield. So that way we can potentially kill it. Let's see what comes on. Alright, so we'll do three here, we'll deal two to this guy and one to this guy. All right, beautiful. With grace and precision. 
All right, cool. So we get a bark PC here. Round start. The mana gem is not bad. When first time I ally dies, grant me plus two, plus two. That's really you know useful, I would say. All right, let's head to the champion item chest here. You get a overwhelm on the kindred, a giant spell, and a locket of iron Solari. Uh, we're gonna pick up the overwhelm. Obviously, I really wish we had a cost reduction that could be decent, but uh, I'll pick up the overwhelm. Right, we have a Zoe and a GP here. Let's see what rewards are they hiding. This is a Rekindler and this is a Spells Chest. Spells Chest might be better, but GP is Perfected Mana Flow and Zoe is Power Overwhelming. I think GP might be easier, so we're gonna head to the GP. Alright, as well, Mass Mother, Fading Icon. We're gonna get rid of Fading Icon and I think we'll keep the rest. I think I've decided we're probably gonna rely on Kindred. Well, we're definitely gonna rely on Kindred. This is her, um, you know, deck, I would say. But um, essentially, we'll probably use the Ezreal as fodder for the Kindred. We might just have the Kindred get the Elusive off of it and essentially um, deal damage, but we'll see. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna play Mass Mother here. We'll kill the 0-1. I know it's a waste because the Prey does not have the buff, but we might need to block this uh, Black Market Merchant here. I don't want to take two damage. Alright, cool. So it doesn't choose to attack, which is exactly as expected. Because it sees a disadvantage. So we're gonna go Fading Icon here. Oh man, are you kidding me? Oh, make it rain straight to all of our weak units. The AI is so lucky sometimes. The AI's luck is, you know... Sometimes perfect, man. I rarely forget. I never forgive. Uh, GP on is really, really bad. I think. No, we can't do that. I think I have an idea. We're gonna pass the turn first. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, I should have expected it, though. Make It Rain is probably um, a spell that, you know, the G GP deck always has. Um, I think we're gonna play this guy first. Because I want this prey to survive to potentially block something else. Alright, cool. So we'll play a Black Spear on the GP. It should kill it. This Mass Mother should kill it. 20 health. Not great. Not great at all. We're gonna plop down the Kindred. I hope this is a safe turn. I'm concerned here. Scrap Shot could be a possibility. Line them up. Alright. I think we'll kill the, um, we'll get rid of the powder keg first. Because I know this deal one could potentially kill that kindred there, so I wanted to avoid that from happening. Alright, we're probably going to play Drown Draining Shadow here. Dawning Shadow. We may lose the Kindred here, but um, it's a sacrifice we have to make. We need to get rid of this um, Dreadway because it's going to double damage and I don't want that. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose the Kindred here. Need another Kindred. I hope that Kindred comes up first. Let's play the Ezreal. Elusive could finally be really important. A Fading Icon as well. Come on, it took a Bark, it took a bark Beast? Are you kidding me? 
Oh, man. Um, we're just going to attack like so, I guess. We're going to drag... Let's see what it blocks. I think it's probably going to block with something else. Um, the 2 2, okay. I think we'll deal 2 straight to GP. We might want to try to kill it. Actually, we can't play a crumble and kill him next turn. So I think we'll deal 2 to this unit. Journey will make sure the Ezreal here survives. The Elusive is probably going to be our key unit here. Let's play Dawning Shadow. Get the heal back as well in the process. Get the Bark Beast on. It's cool. We're gonna block like so. Um, no, we're gonna put this guy here, and we're probably gonna put this guy here, the Esro here. Alrighty, we're gonna kill like so, I guess. Um, we'll drag the zero one to this guy. We may have to play Crumble or something to kill and get more damage, but uh, we'll let this happen first. What's the rush, huh? I have an idea. Gotcha. These preys have been stacking up for quite some time. It should be a lot of damage. Let's deal two to the Nexus first. Sure. Right, we're gonna play... Actually, we should play the Phantom Prankster. Uh, we'll put the Phantom Prankster on now. I think I have an idea. Alright, let's kill this guy. This is 3 damage. What about the other fellow? How much damage is that? That's also 3. Um, we'll just play it and I think we'll kill this guy. Kill this guy. We'll kill this guy as well, I guess. We have enough to just deal Mystic Shot and win. Cool. Firing. Easy. Like my name. Alrighty, we have Stutter Letter, Zona Urchin, and Rekindler. We're gonna grab the Stutter Letter on the Fading Icon, since it's a card that we are playing. We're gonna head to the Spell Chest here. We are gonna grab a, let's see, Mark of the Isles, Right Negation, and Chum the Waters. Yeah, I don't really like any of these. The Grand, the Ally Ephemeral, and 2-2 isn't too great. Um, the Right Negation as well, I don't really like. I'd say we don't really need to kill our Mana Gems, or kill an ally. So, well, actually, kill an ally could be useful. To stop all enemies, slow spells, fast spells, and skills. That can actually be useful. There is the possibility of obliterates coming up, so I think we might just pick this up. Could be fairly decent, actually. Alright, so we have the option of a shop node or a healer here. I think we're gonna head to the healer because we might need the health. I'm happy to give up the shop node here. The power. We purchase healing, of course. And we're gonna head to the gin. Right, Bark Beast, Dawning Shadow, Spirit Leech. We're going to get rid of Dawning Shadow. We'll keep the Bark Beast, the Esro, and the Spirit Leech. Hopefully we get a um, Kindred. That would be decent. Jin is unyielding, right? Yeah, Jin is unyielding. Bark Beast on. I never we're definitely not attacking here. We're going to pass the turn.
I think I'm happy to let Bork Beast die. The main intention is to bring on the Kindred earlier. We already have four mana. We'll, you know, uh, achieve that. We'll let that happen. Bring on the Kindred here. Shall we, dear wolf? I'm ready, little lamb. No. No, 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 no. You are... Oh, my God. How the hell did I fall for that? That is the oldest trick in the book. Ah, uh, we the kindred here dies. Well, it's cool, it's cool. It's sloppy for me, really, because I wasn't considering a mystic shot. Ah, oh, man, it just happened right in front of my eyes. We saw, you know, the bark beast die to the mystic shot. I wasn't thinking about it for some reason. Um, it's cool. We're, gonna, we're just gonna pass the turn. Yeah, so Ryan Negation is, uh, <laughs> seems like a really good option here now, considering the mistakes that we're making. But I think Jin's gonna come on here, so it might be worth to get an S. We'll get the elusive and get damage. The stage is set. Watch and learn. Nailed it. <laughs> I think we're gonna get rid of Jin's spell shield. That way we could play Crumble and kill it with the um, Prey next turn. Probably gonna be another Jin as well, but uh, we'll try to circumvent that. We'll try to play around that. Hello, I think we'll play right negation here. We'll destroy. Oh, this might be better. This is a really bad, really bad um, situation here because there's nothing we can do. Um, well, not really nothing we can do, but nothing's favorable to us, I'd say. We destroy and manage him here. We prevent this face multi from killing our units. We get a spare poro, but uh, we're going to have to sacrifice it to either the 5-2 or the Jin. We cannot play our crumble. I think we'll still do it though. Chooses not to attack, interesting. I would presume that it would like to attack there. Not really sure what's going on, but uh, I'm not gonna complain. We are gonna attack like so, I guess. We might want to actually kill the Jin here. Actually, no, there's another Jin on standby, and I don't want that to come on, so. Um, we're gonna attack like so. Oh, this is what we'll do. We'll prevent this guy from dying. So we'll play a kill and revive this guy. That way we deal two and take this fellow out. Can play a black spear on Jin. Next turn, we'll probably just play Crumble and kill it. Potentially. True power requires no yeah, I have to play Crumble and kill it. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, man. Great, we take 15 damage. <laughs> yeah, I, I I, definitely wasn't sure what to do there, if I was going to be honest with you. Um, Not really good with the Kindred, as you can clearly see. So I think we're gonna, just going to pass the turn. We're going to hope we get the Kindred back. It might be useful. The Esro is not happening. I don't think the Esro is helping us in any degree. Or maybe I'm just playing badly. It's cool. Well, we can kill the Jin here, but there's probably going to be another one coming on, which I really would like to avoid.
we've lost a crumble as well, which is so unfortunate. I think we'll just have to play Spirit Leech here, guys. And then we'll probably draw a unit, potentially. Hope we get a good unit. Kindred. Fading Icon. Okay. I have prepared something very special. I hear it now. The thunderous applause. Leveled up Jin isn't great, but uh, it is what it is. I think we'll even play right on negation here. Um, we'll destroy more mana gems. Bring on the fading icon. Right, we'll attack like so. I don't think we can play two true shot barrages, right? Well, we actually have a dawning shadow here, which is perfect. We can kill this Jin, and I think that's what we'll do. You know, I am really concerned here because if one thing I would deduce from this is that we're struggling to beat the Jin, it's probably going to be really difficult against the Asol. It's probably going to be really difficult. I just hope it's not. I am really, really concerned. Um, we're gonna block the sky. We're gonna block the sky. We'll take three damage. The fact that we're struggling to take down a Jin is really, genuinely concerning. Play true shot here, we'll kill this guy, kill this guy, and kill this guy. Um, three, two, and one. I will showcase the beauty of tragedy. Mass mother. No, we, we, want, we want to kill this guy before it transforms. I don't want that to happen. Get out of here. Alright, cool. If we lose the Mass Mother to the Jin, it's fine. At least we kill it in the process. I hope. Uh, we're struggling against Jin. God damn it! We can't even beat the Jin. This is really, really bad. Really, really bad. That's all I'm gonna say. Sorry if I'm parroting some points. I really, genuinely, like I said earlier, really, really concerned. I am frightened, but I am ready. Embrace it, and your adoring public awaits. Five mana. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. We're gonna have to resolve this, I guess. Kill the Yoni at least. I will give them a show to Where's the damn Kindred, man? I know there's a second Kindred somewhere. We should have that second Kindred coming on. Uh, let's go ahead and just kill this guy first, because I really want to draw that Kindred. How many cards do we have? 15 cards. Where the hell is that damn Kindred? Finally! Jesus. What matters the Maker if not her divine work? I promise it will be immortalized in our performance. I was just as you are now. What's that, Lamb? 
Alright, we're gonna kill this guy and prevent the, um, sorry, not Static Shock, the Spirit Journey, prevent the Impersonate from coming on, from kicking in. Alright, I think we'll attack like so. Jin down here. Fortry here. Four two here. Yeah. Let's play first wave. I want to see if we could drag this guy to kill this zero one instead of the Nexus. I really don't want to, you know, take too much Nexus damage here. This is really bad. We are struggling against the Jin. I apologize if I'm repeating this a lot, but this is really, really cause for concern. Struggling against the Jin could equal, you know, struggling against the Aurelian Soul. Once we kill this guy, will it get rid of the Peerless Artist Tree? Um, it will, and we also get a mark on the 2 4, okay. A glimpse of what is yet to come. It's hard, it's fabulous, it's fun. Who will we chase now? Everyone, dear wolf. At least we get the win, but um, the fact that we took so long to get it, really concerning. Alright, we get a Dragon's Tooth Fury on Kindred, a Pickaxe. Dragon's Tooth is great because what I found from my grinding experience as well with the Kindred is that the Fury will actually benefit us uh, because every time it slays, it will kill the weakest enemy and that, you know, that the, the Mark will kill the weakest enemy and essentially that Kindred will get the Fury buff as well. So this is actually fairly decent. We're going to grab that. Hope we get cost reduction though. That could be great. Let's head to the next power node. Let's see if we're lucky. Empress Die, Chrono Break, and Duelist. Of course, we get Duelists here, and I already have the Challenger with the Kindred. Um, yeah, this is not the best um, power because it's an overlap. I think a Crush could be useful, but of, of course, we the game doesn't want to give me that. So I think we're just going to go ahead and grab the Chrono Breaks here. Could be useful. Rally could be important, even though we might not be play, uh, getting the Revive. We'll see. Let's grab that. Right, we have Sejuani, we have Tom Kench. I think we head to Sejuani. Uh, sorry, not Sejuani, but Tom Kench because I see a champion item chest. All right, Fading Icon, Wings in the Wave, and Crumble. We're going to get rid of this Crumble. We will probably get rid of the Fading Icon as well. We'll keep at least one of it and one Wings of the Wave. Let's see if we can get lucky, get a Esril or maybe a Kindred. Okay, cool. We get a Kindred. Get a second Kindred. Nice. I think we're going to drop a... First wave. The breath takes, the waters give. Bark beast. Sack the sky, we'll put this guy here. Kindred on. Embrace life. Let's grab a another um, prey here. I think I have an idea what I want to do. Yeah, something like that. That way we can maximize the amount of damage we get. I believe that Tom Kench is gonna come on and swallow this Kindred, so we might want to use that uh, Spirit Journey on it next turn. We'll see. Yeah, 
Yeah, that Tom Kench is probably gonna um, challenge this kindred. We'll let that happen because that's the only way we can trigger the uh, spirit journey and, you know, have the kindred survive. I think we'll pass the turn first. As expected, we are gonna go ahead and play spirit journey. We're gonna kill the TK. Let's play Black Spear and kill this tree too. Alright, I'm gonna drop the prey first. Sorry, the, the faded icon, not the prey. Alright, so we'll kill this guy. That way TK will get the um, mark and then the TK should die at the end of the round. Yep. Probably attack like so. Yeah, we maximize damage that way, I believe. Um, no, we'll have it support the zero one because the zero one, this first wave will not get the buff. These two will get the buff to deal damage, nexus damage. So it might be worth to you know have them survive. I think we'll kill one of these preys here. Draw another kindred, we get a faded icon as well. Um, static shock. No, we'll let that happen, it's cool. We'll go fading icon, I believe. Yeah. And we get the win, cool. Alright, going well so far. Hope this holds up. Um, let's go ahead and grab, I think, a draw one if you're slaying unit. This round drain two from the enemy unit nexus. Okay, that seems fine. We'll grab that. It's a lifesteal, which could be important. We have Esther and Ash here. These two aren't that great. Esther is fairly aggressive. Ash has Frostbites, of course, which is always not fun. Uh, I think the lesser of two evils is probably going to be the Esther, even though it has duplicate. So I think we're going to see how we do against it. Could be scary if I'm, if I'm going to be honest. Level up on Ash isn't fun as well, but I really want this champion item chest here. We get a Colossal Hammer or another um, plus one Fury. I think we're going to go Colossal Hammer on the Kindred. Let's uh, head to the Esther. Uh, I'm concerned about this. Duplicate Esper isn't fun because he can play double static shocks. That is obviously going to wreck us, potentially. We're going to get rid of the two right negations and the Spirit Leech here. And I hope all's well. I am really, really afraid of this, if I am frank with you. I think we should be fine. How is it for... Oh, static shock draws. 
Ah, uh, god damn it. Yeah, we're gonna have to resolve that. We have to take four damage here. Straight up. Not great. Duplicate Ezreal. Why did I even think this could be manageable? <laughs> uh, we're gonna bring another fading icon here. Oh no! No, 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 no. Ezreal gets double stats. He goes from a 1 3 to a 2 6. I should have just attacked straight up. That could have gotten us. Well, maybe it would have not gotten us the win anyway, because that stack shot would have been played, I guess. Ah, god damn it. I think we're just gonna drop the Bark Beast here. We're probably not gonna do anything. Uh, we're just gonna, you know, build up our mana, I guess. Duplicate is a nightmare, man. What a nightmare. I'm gonna drop the Phantom Prankster. Uh, we'll put this unit last, at least we could kill that. We'll drop the 0 1 here. We'll drop this 4 2 here. Actually, wait, we can't play some spirit journeys. It's a possibility for us. What if we kill this guy? Get a prey back. What if we kill this guy? Get a 4 2 back and a potential prey as well. I think we'll let that happen. Uh, I forgot there's a mystic shot. That damn Ezra creates a damn mystic shot. We're screwed, aren't we? We're screwed. It's probably just gonna deal two to one to this bark piece here. Or this four two. I knew it. <laughs> uh, we're screwed. We are screwed. Where the hell's the kindred? Can we get the kindred? That is probably gonna be our potential. I'm not even sure yet because, you know, with the duplicate, there's always a possibility of something um, disgusting coming on. So. Yeah, I think we're just gonna play true shot here. We're gonna do three, we're gonna do two, we're gonna do one. We're just gonna get rid of some units if we can. They don't know what they're up against. That's it. Oh my god, it's just gonna nuke our damn Nexus now. We can't even attack because there's obviously a disadvantage here. This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. We're gonna pass the turn. True Shot's gonna wreck us, isn't it? True Shot is definitely gonna wreck us. I hate Ezreal. <laughs> I really hate Ezreal, man. Why the hell did I go to Ezreal? We should've gone to Ash, but Ash is also kinda bad. That was a terrible decision choice there. I think we're just gonna go Wings of the Wave, I guess, and we're probably gonna want to use it to block something. Man, I, I, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really see any way out of this. I feel like I just want to surrender straight away because there's really no way of winning this, I feel. We'll play this first, I guess. We'll just kill this extra. We'll see how it goes. I really am not confident. Uh, first wave. What's the worst that What's the worst that could happen at this point? Probably just gonna lose anyway.
Why the hell did I even think duplicate Ezreal was a good idea? Just why? We get a Kindred, but probably too late. It's probably just gonna kill us anyway. And yeah, we'll bring on. What's the worst that can happen at this point? Seriously. <laughs> we'll deal four here, we'll get the Kindred to survive. An interplay shadow like dappled sunlight. If this was a loser, we could have done something, but unfortunately not. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is... Um... No, we actually might be able to squeak, you know, scratch one by, but uh, we, we, you know, we're, 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 de we're definitely need to get some heals later on. I'm not even sure. Uh, well, not really not some heals, but we might have to use... We have to spend the revive. Because we don't have enough health, if we are able to squeak one by, of course. But chances are there's probably gonna be something that's gonna deal one straight to the Nexus. Uh, we'll give it a shot though. We are you guys gonna drag this four tree here? Drag the tree seven here. What if we? No, that's obviously not gonna happen. Probably gonna lose this. Definitely gonna be something that will deal one to the nexus for sure, for sure. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take the win. Well, we might have gotten the win, but the tree health is obviously not going to help us. Uh, we're probably going to have to spend the revive at the next node. I just hope that uh, whatever we face later is going to be a little bit easier. Uh, we're gonna grab a Runa's Path upgrade again. I think this could be important. Edifine is also fine, but it comes on really expensive though. Scout, uh, play killing ally, kill an enemy. Fearsome, 7 costs. I think we're just gonna go Runa's Path. Right, we're gonna head to the shop here. We are gonna grab a power, of course. We have a Chilling Prophecy. It seems okay. Could be worth it with the um, Kindred if we could uh, potentially kill it. Yeah, I think we might just pick this up. Could be useful, I'm not sure. In terms of cards, I don't really see anything I like if I'm going to be honest, so we're just going to leave. We have a champion iron chest here as well as a Caitlyn with perfected mana flow, a Victor with unyielding. I think we're going to head to the Caitlyn. We're probably just going to die on the first game and then spend the revive. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll try not to do that, but obviously, tree health, it's impossible. <laughs> we'll see. I'm on. All right, get rid of the two prodigies here. We'll keep the wings and the wave and the kindred. 5 health actually because of uh, some heals from our champion perks and whatnot, but still doesn't change the fact that we're probably gonna die on turn 1. Well not turn 1 but uh, turn 2 maybe. First wave we get a prey. Uh, let's, let's get a fading icon on. Can't attack either, it's not gonna help us at all. Tell what we'll pass the turn. We wait for the kindred. Obviously we can't do anything with this. This is pointless. Zero one. Zero one. Deal one, deal one. Deal still. Oh, I probably should have dealt one to this guy because... Yeah, this is a real cost. Why the hell did I deal one to the Steel Toe Lawbot? I wasn't thinking straight there. It's fine. Let's grab a... 
We're grabbing Asriel. I think we need to have Kindred get the elusive damage. That could be important. Kindred on. I tell you, this one will do. We'll not have um, Kindred kill the Esriel yet. We'll keep that spread journey for the next turn. Try to fight our way to and claw at this, of course. We'll see if we can come back at 5 health. It's probably not gonna happen though. Observe and go. Maybe with those excellent specs, eh? Practice, as they say, makes perfect. Setting up a roadblock. Oh man, two health kindred, are you kidding me? We definitely want to kill this Caitlyn. I tell you what, we'll have to kill the Kindred, kindred and get her back up to full. We'll do it later, we'll do it later. Let's commit this first. Not by a Caitlyn, are you joking? I swear, we have to spend a revive here. I'm gonna be so pissed. This seems like something winnable. This feels like it's winnable, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, no, it might still be. We're gonna pass the turn. Alright, cool. We delay the Caitlyn from dealing damage. Who's the kindred here? But at least we get another one. Okay, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. I think I have a really good idea. Alright, beautiful. Chrono break. We revive, we get that dead um, troll back. Oh, perfect. This is just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, so we attack like so, we get the win. Wow, we escape with 5 health. <laughs> I am pulling a rabbit out of the hat here so far, but uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You know, let's take things one step at a time. Really good comeback, I would say. We get the heal, and then basically we get uh, we we haven't spent the revive, which is perfect. So I think we're gonna go with I guess a aftershock here, deal three or a unit uh, to a unit or destroy a landmark. You only wind chaser, play stun to enemies. Um, right negation here with doubling dice. I think we're just gonna go with another right negation here. Could be useful. We're gonna hit the champion item chest. Uh, let's see. We have spell shield. Perfect. This is exactly what I need heading into the Aurelian Soul. Uh, because there's probably going to be a lot of obliterates there. So we're going to head to the healer here. We are definitely purchasing healing. Six health is no joke. <laughs> and we are going to head into the fist. Alright, so we're going to get rid of two kindreds and a stag shock. We'll keep at least this one kindred here.
Right, we'll have the fading icon on. Probably gonna take some heavy damage here. I don't see us blocking anything because um, there's nothing to block with. We'll probably just block with this 4 2. We'll take the 8 damage. Unfortunate though, I really like to, you know, attack with that guy because um, we can potentially kill the fist, but it's cool. I think we're gonna pass the turn first. Electro Harpoon is probably gonna deal two to one of these units here. Yeah, we're gonna pass the turn. Okay, I tell you, we'll bring on the bark the bark piece now that you know it's um, summoned everything. Right, we'll kill this guy. Play Ruinous Path, why not? Yeah, gotta be joking with me, man. Um, Fizz is gonna deal a hell of a lot of damage here. Might have to just kill it and prevent it from dealing damage. We are definitely gonna want to block with the Sky, the Sky, and the Bark Beast. We have to block with the Bark Beast. Or actually, no, we'll not block with the Bark Beast. No, we can block with the Bark Beast. It's safe. Yeah, it's safe to do so. Oh, I tell you, at least have one of these guys back. That way Kindred could kill it and get the buff. Alright, Kindred on. Right, we'll attack like so. We'll drag the fist here. Drag this one tree here. We should get the mark on this Oedipus. Yep. So deal 5 will get rid of um, this fist. Okay, let's get wings and uh, wave. We'll get a first wave. Slowly turning things around, which is not bad, but uh, we need to be mindful here. Okay, true shot barrage. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're safe because we have Spell Shield. That's great. Yeah, it's not really gonna hurt us. I believe the Fizz... Um, can't really do anything either. We'll, we'll just play Crumble just in case. We'll just kill this Fizz. Alright, it's cool. I'm happy to block with this guy because we should have a frozen thrall coming up. It's gonna be a clutch one, but uh, it's still a win.
Alright, let's get some health back first. Let's kill this guy. Alright, we're gonna attack like so. We should get the victory. Yep. With grace and precision. Alright, good stuff. So, essentially, we are, well, cheating death in some degrees with the Kindred, and I find that pretty ironic, you know, regarding how Kindred is like the, um, what do you call it, the entity of death, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, basically, great stuff so far, I'd say. So, I think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna go with the um, Targon's Brace here, uh, mainly because we get a support. I think the CSF should get the supported ally stats, right? I think so. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned as well because this is last on the list here. So essentially this could mean that, um, you know, the Targon's Brace will probably go after the CSF has already killed it. Which isn't what I want. But in terms of our options here, we don't really have anything too great. Farsight could be good in case we grow, draw the s -Rail. I tell you, we're going to go with Farsight. I think just to be safe, we're going to go with the Farsight. Mainly because I'm worried about drawing an s in the a -Sol, And I'm not sure whether this Targon's Brace will be helpful. Because like I said, the order of the items is important. We have the CSF up top. So I'm concerned that the CSF will only kill... Um, well, sorry, the CSF will kill first. And then the Targon's Brace won't get to transfer the stats. And then, you know, transfer it back with the CSF. So, yeah, we're going to go with the Farsight here. Alright, let's head to the Power Note. Uh, and failing strike high education and draw two. I think we're gonna go with the high education. I see a Z here and I am scared. Power overwhelming. Okay. Um, I, was, I thought it was gonna be a duplicate and essentially that would be a nightmare to face. Right, so we're gonna take him on. Power overwhelming should be manageable, hopefully. Alright, study attack token, which is fine. Runa's path, we're gonna get rid of that. We'll keep the s row and the bark beast. I think we'll get rid of one bark beast, actually. We should be able to get a... Um, what is it? The Kindred. Or do we want to keep this Spark Beast? We'll keep the Spark Beast. Now we'll get rid of it. <laughs> a little bit thicker minded here because I want to make sure I get the right cards. Okay, we get Wings and the Wave. That's workable. So yeah, again, the far side is just to guarantee we get the Kindred draw. Although at this stage, it should be pretty much... Um, the odds of it should be quite high. The possibility exists, we still won't get it. But um, essentially... Yeah, that's why we went in the far side here. But uh, let's go ahead and drop, I guess, the uh, wings in the way first. Work piece. We're not gonna attack with anything, obviously. We'll bring on the Ezreal here. Ah, oh, sorry, the Kindred here. So I think we can block everything. Except this tree too. We'll block this guy and this guy. We have to take some damage here from the Z. There's really no escaping taking damage from the Z, but yeah, the, the question is how much damage. That's the real question when you come up against a Z, at least in my opinion. Alright, I think. Can attack like so. Or do you want to bring on more units? Could get greedy here and bring on more units. Elusive could be. Yeah, I think we'll bring on the S row. I think I see a way to get a little bit more extra damage. Okay, it's fine. This is a bad turn to actually um, get these guys here. I'm not really sure why I played Dawn and Dust on a defensive turn. I'm not going to be, you know, complain either. Because that's definitely a misplay on the enemy's part, I feel. I don't want to let the Bark Beast die here. The Bark Beast could be important. 
But at the same time, I feel like I want to kill this blade. No, you know what? We'll not do it. Let's uh, resolve this. Deal two. Actually, hold on. We can deal five and kill this guy. So we'll forego the mystic shot. Hope there's no more Zeds. Am I flesh or shadow? You're left unguarded. All right, we'll play Spirit Journey and kill this dude. A glimpse of what is yet to come. Uh, we're gonna draw and get the heal, get some two health back. The dark beckons. Right, I tell you what, we'll. We can get Kindred to level up, even though it's not going to be that important. Uh, no, I tell you what, it's fine. We'll not, we'll not do that. We'll just get the win next turn. We have the Overwhelm. Let's not um, play too smart, I'd say. Actually, I feel I want to get this extra summon health. Yeah, I tell you what, we'll try to pass the turn. It's a little bit risky, but... Uh, we'll see. Actually, that's still not enough because we need to... No, I tell you what, let's not do that. Let's uh, just immediately um, drain drain seven here, get the health, and then, you know, end the game. I really don't want to risk, um, you know, triggering the mark and whatnot. We should be able to get the win. I'm just going to play, you know, safe here. I'm not going to try to play um, smart, if you will. All right, so attack like so. Attack this guy here. We should get the win. Beautiful. We get our seven health, and it's done. Alright, so we get Spell Shield on Wings and the Wave, Defective Swap Bot and Undying. We're gonna grab a Spell Shield on the Wings and the Wave. We can, you know, we can live with 33 health. I am happy to accept that. Let's just hope Katarina is easy. Let's go ahead and head to the shop here. Uh, by power, of course, we get a little buddy's round start summoning a random one cost Poro. I don't really like this because, you know, first of all, we are going to be summoning or we are, we are already going to be using the praise to deal damage, right? This could interfere with that, but at the same time, this could be keyword fodder for the, um, uh, for, for what is it, for the, uh, for the kindred here, which could be important. I'm weighing my options because essentially this could take up space on the board, valuable space on the board, I should add. But at the same time, if we don't pick this up, we are really limited to the keywords that we have. We already have a as well for the elusive. I think we can forego the little buddies here. Yeah, I think we're just going to ignore it. This, this is probably one of the few instances where I'm probably not going to pick that up. Uh, summon a random champion of my cost with Mystic Shot. We'll grab one copy because we should have a, um, a few of these in the deck already. Um, no, as we'll be generating them. Uh, I tell you what, we'll grab two of these. We'll grab two of these, and at the very least, we have the option to play this, but chances are we're going to rely on Ezreal for it. Alright, so let's gonna leave, let's, uh, I guess, leave this one. We're gonna get Burns of Beyond as well. Copy me onto the same targets, and then we'll leave that. It's cool. Alright, so we're gonna leave, and we are gonna head to the Katarina with Duplicate. Alright, she starts with the attack token, which is a little bit unfortunate. We're gonna get rid of everything here, because we are guaranteed to draw the Kindred, and I really want to see if we could get a cheap unit. Get a Bark Beast, okay. I'm gonna bring on the Dark Beast because um, we're probably gonna die regardless. Well, not die, but the Katarina is probably gonna deal damage. The sooner we can bring on the Kindred, the better. Okay, I tell you what, we'll bring on the Bark Beast, but we'll only block one Katarina because I want this mana gem here. You won't get past me. Unless he doesn't want to attack, of course. Interesting. AI is making really questionable decisions, but I'm not gonna complain, it helps us, so. Yeah, we're gonna drop the kindred. It's just blood, darling. I still pray. Okay, 
Can't kill this guy. I hope there's no... Um... Or we can actually kill the Katarina here. Yeah, we'll get rid of her. I think we'll play Spirit Journey and kill this guy. At least we could get the mark and at the same time, um, you know, essentially have the prey survive into the next round uh, to potentially, you know, get more damage for us. Yeah, I'm gonna bring on Mass Mother. I initially wanted to. Um, what is it? I wanted to potentially, you know, uh, let the... Oh, can we can, can we not block here? Let me just think about this for a second. We bring on Mass Mother, we get 4-5. We're still probably going to block the cat, right? With the 13-9. No, I tell you what, we'll bring on Mass Mother. Or we're not going to kill. Alright, because this is what we're going to do. We're going to have Katarina block the 6-4. Four. 4-4 four, four here. Katarina gets recalled, but... Uh... Can potentially block with the 0-1. Right? What if we block this guy first? It's really important to get your cards right. I think we take more damage that way. Alright, so I guess we're gonna block like so first. Because Cat's gonna come on again. Holy shit, we take a lot of damage, man. Okay, we have a, we have an we have another kindred here, so I think I'm willing to give that up. We'll take only six damage that way. This might hurt. We have to, we have to. If not, you know, I, I really don't want to go into Ace All with that little health. Or the next battle with that little health. That's the last thing I want. Um, we'll get this kindred here. We get back my draining shadow. That would be really nice to have here. Uh, let's play true shot. Three, two, one. Use this to block one of these guys and kindred the other one. Okay, cool. Like so. Yeah. One to remember us by. Alright, I'll try to trigger all these ruinous paths. I really want the health back. Unless I could get a dawning shadow here, that would be great. Mystic shot. I was hoping for a dawning shadow. It's cool though. 
Um, let's go ahead and... Draw one if you're slain. Okay, I tell you what. I really want to try to get the Runa's Path to trigger. We'll kill this guy first. An interplay of shadow like dappled sunlight. For the hand. All right, and now we'll play the Runa's Path. I really want to get our health back. I think that's going to be extremely important. One more. Get as much health back as possible. No Dawning Shadow as well. Unfortunate. But at least we get um, a considerable amount of health back. I'm happy with that. Um, is there any champion that gives us life steal? I don't think so. Well, I think Shen does, right? But yeah, it's going to summon a random champion on my cost. There's no two-cost Shen, obviously. So we're just going to attack like so. Um, and essentially get the victory here. Alright, we get a double time watch on the Dawning Shadow. This could be a little bit detrimental because we have the health potion to actually give us 7 health back. But I think we're not going to pick this up. I'm probably, I probably might go for the assembly bot here. That could be decent. Possession could also be okay. Still an enemy follower this round. Can't play if you have 6 allies or landmarks already. Um, assembly bot could be good, right? Because we are playing a couple of spells. Yeah, I think I might just go for it. Seems fine. Alright, let's head to the Misfortune here. Oh, you know what just dawned on me? Oh man, we should have grabbed the upgrade to the Dawning Shadow because even though we cannot trigger the heal, at the very least we could have gotten the effect for cheaper. We could kill an enemy for cheaper. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I am an absolute idiot. <laughs> um, okay, it's cool, let's go. Cool. Let's get rid of the Kindred here. We'll keep the Ezreal and the Fading Icon. Uh, we'll work with this and see how we do against the ASOL. It's fine. It is fine. It's A-OK. -okay. It's gonna be a misfortune here on. We'll go wings in the way first. We'll get a prey. Fading icon. Block here, and we'll probably drop this guy here. Or do we want to drop the prey instead? Yeah, I think we'll drop the prey. It's probably not going to be able to kill the MF regardless. Um, the fading icon, not the prey. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just leave it as so. Alright, I'm gonna bring on the Esreal here. No, we'll bring on the Fading Icon first. We're not gonna attack. We are not gonna attack this turn. I just wanna, you know, stack some uh, prey damage. You've got dangerous eyes. I like that. Not just the eyes, you know. This here to stack prey damage, it's cool. This is a really scary board, but um, we should have enough chump blockers to survive, I hope. Alright, so we're gonna put this guy here. Um, I think we'll kill the MF. Definitely need to block a little bit more. I think we'll block this guy. Yeah, we'll take 5 damage, it's cool. I can't remember which prey we summoned first. I really hope they, you know, have an indicator here. It's so unfortunate. Um, I think this was the first one, so we'll put this guy back. This guy was the last one, so I want this guy to die. I think we'll want this guy to die as well. Um, no, we can actually count from the marker here, I guess. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me just double check something. So this is 0, right? This is... 
one damage. So this is um, the most recent prey. This is two damage, which is the most latest prey, and this is also two damage. So I think we're gonna have the one damage one block. We're gonna have one of the two ones block as well, and you will have this guy alive, I guess. Yeah. Kindred on. Shall we, dear wolf? I'm ready, little lamb. Hmm, you're cute when you're armed. Firepower's always in style. Don't I have the Esper on. Alright, so we'll kill MF. Um... As well, we'll deal damage here, and I think we'll... Well, it's fine. We don't need to drag anyone. Let's... No, let's not draw. Let's actually deal two straight up. Let's go ahead and deal two straight to the Nexus. We got a champion, a two-cost champion as well. That is Nora, okay. Ah, oh, come on. Got rid of our mark. <laughs> um, it's cool, though. By hook or by crook, I'll find you, dear cat. Probably should have killed that guy straight up, but um, it's alright. I think we're gonna play Crumble here. Gonna deal one, and we'll deal... We'll kill this guy. We'll have Mystic Shot here deal, deal one to this guy as well. Oh, we got Lucian, okay. Oh, that had Mark. We probably should have... Ah, it's cool, it's cool. At least we still get the win. We have a couple of uh, Dawning Shadows that we can play to maximize the damage to, to get some heals back. I think that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and see what is this first. Deal 1 to all battling enemies. Um, I tell you, we'll block with the Nora. She doesn't seem too important. I don't think we need the Ezra either. The Kindred is quite strong at this point. So I think we'll just block like so. No sweat. Actually, hold on. We'll put the Nora here. That way we could kill this fellow. And we only take six damage overall. Yeah, that's not bad. Right, I want to get as much health back as possible, so I'm going to play Dawning Shadows here. Um, let's kill this guy first. Alright, I'll intentionally not attack with everything, because like I said, I want to drag this battle out a little bit. That way I could get as much health back. Let's see, if we put the this guy here... This guy here is still going to deal a lot. I think we're going to hang back the 9-8 then. Yeah. We're gonna need more coffins. One to remember us by. Like I said, I realized we could have gone to win there, but I want to get the health back. I really want as much health heading into the ASOL. That's going to be important. Really important. Please summon a unit. Okay, thank you. Could have probably even gotten more if we played... Um, if we had enough mana to play the Ruinous Path, it's cool. Let's end the round first. 
I actually think I have an idea to get that damage. Let's go ahead and play Spirit Journey. We'll kill our unit here. I just want to maximize the amount of health. That's all I want. Alright, Runa's Path. Alright, one more time. We should be at 32. And with the extra health from our perks, we should be able to get back up to 34. That's what I want. Beautiful. Good stuff. Alright, so we get a Dawning Shadow with a Shuffle 2 copy, so mean your deck that they cost 1. Okay, we'll pick this up. We missed out the chance to get the Double Time Watch on it, but I'm not going to miss out the chance to grab this now. So we're going to grab that. And as you can see, we are at 32 health, which is great, because once we enter the A-Soul, the, he the heal is going to kick in. We are going to be back to 34. Perfect. Alright, so let's take on the A-Soul with Mana Flow and see how we do. Right, we're gonna get rid of all the kindreds here because we should be guaranteed to draw her. I really want a cheap unit to start. That would be perfect. Oh, all adorning shadows. Why? This is bad. This is bad. Cheap unit, please. Oh, no. Okay, we do get a cheap unit. <laughs> I was a little bit concerned there. Let's go with the uh, fading icon. All right, we're gonna attack. Invoke is fine. Oh man, Aatrox, why? Overwhelm Aatrox is scary, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna have to pass the turn, I feel. Oh no. Spell shield. Why? <laughs> Why? You gotta be joking with me, right? You have absolutely gotta be kidding me right now. Oh man. Down to 15 health. I'm not sure how we're gonna do this now. Um. We need to try to survive. That's a really tall order here. I think we'll just kill this elusive. Take as minimum damage as possible. And Aatrox is just gonna regen back. That is a terrible choice of champion to, you know, be spawned here. Oh god, Trindomir as well. No. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. Why? Just why? Uh, I'll drop the Kindred here, but uh, I'm concerned. There's going to be an Ace coming on as well. I'm pretty sure about that. Mark the weakest enemy. It's gonna mark the 9 8, isn't it? I wanted to mark the Trindomir or something. Ah, oh, man. How are we gonna get out of this? How the hell are we gonna get out of this? This is a nightmare. Um, 9 8 Infinite Mind Splitter. That's not definitely not gonna die. The Tree Tree Elusive is. Well, if, if we either kill the 9 8 here. No, no, no. We, ha we we cannot kill this guy as well, because... If we kill this guy, it's going to mark this uh, trickster. This guy's still going to survive. Oh, man. I tell you, what, we're going to block like so. I, I think we're going to have to spend the revive here. I really don't see a way of winning this. 
No way. Great, everyone is spell shield. We are screwed. I don't think we're gonna win this, if I'm gonna be honest with you, but um There's nothing to kill, because even if we kill our units, it's still gonna attack because it has a lot of damage here. Uh I tell you what, we're gonna surrender. There's really no way of winning this. I think you guys can see what's gonna happen. Um We kill even if we kill our unit or essentially we bring on another unit. There's still going to be too much damage. We're still not going to be able to win. This itself is already like 100 and something, I guess. So, yeah, no way. We're going to surrender here. Alright, so we're going to try again. Um, I'm not sure we're going to win this. We, we need a good start. Cost reduction. Not having cost reduction is another problem, but... Uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's go and just fight and see how we do. Kindred Black Spear has attack shot. We're gonna get rid of these two. We'll keep the wings and the wave and the Kindred here. We get the attack token again, which is decent, but uh, we definitely need, you know, things to go our way. Are you kidding me right now? Are you taking the piss right now, man? Oh, man. How the hell are we going to fight against this? Oh, God. We we, we have to... We'll, gra we'll, we'll grab another prey, I guess. What a piss take, man. What an absolute piss take. <laughs> Viego, why? <laughs> Just why? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is a joke. What a joke. Um, we'll kill this guy to kill the Viego, but... Uh, this is a piss take, man. An absolute piss take. Piss take. 8 1 1. How the hell are we gonna fight back against this when we have the Kindred? Oh my god. I don't think we're gonna be able to win here. No chance. And of course, it summons a Trindamir as well. What a nightmare. I tell what, we'll kill this guy. That way we could get the mark on this firebrand. And we'll kill the mind splitter here. That way we could, you know, shave down some units. I, I still think we're gonna lose, guys. There's really no chance of winning this. No chance. We might have to just take the L here and, you know, reconsider our options. I do love an audience. She's almost as old as me. Almost. Oh, man. Yeah, we, 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 we've basically lost here. There's really no way of coming back from this. There's a lot of damage on the board. We can't really, you know... I don't know how to explain it. It's really difficult because... Um, the, 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 the ASO is probably going to summon even more stuff. And obviously, we can't really block all of them. 
We might have to give up some units here. We might have to give up this Kindred as well. Yeah, Sky's Descend. It's gonna hurt us. Um, I tell you, we'll kill this guy. Let's see if we could... Do we, let's see if we could just stall out a little bit. I, I really don't think we can win this. I genuinely doubt being able to win this. chance no chance no chance in hell huh no chance in hell we uh you, even if we block the asol and this guy here that trindomir has a lot of damage pack it's packing a lot of damage and even if the trindomir doesn't exist this seven and four it's gonna deal straight to the nexus so yeah we're gonna have to take the l here okay okay you've already won you don't need to silence me any further god damn it <laughs> Well, guys, that is the um, attempted Kindred run, I'd say. It's such a shame we couldn't make this work. Uh, you know, I definitely think I need a little bit more practice with it. I am, you know, as you can see in this video, I'm really iffy with it. I'm not really good at playing the Kindred. But, yeah, basically, at the end there, we were a little bit unlucky as well. I'm not really sure if, um, you know, maybe it's down to the build or something. I think if the Kindred were to come on earlier, it could have been more effective. But, you know, at the same time, I'm really reluctant to give this up. We might give this a try again at level 30 or something. I'm going to have to work on grinding. We definitely have to change something up, I feel. Because this actually, even though it's not the best build, I'd say. Well, not really the best build, but not the best um, uh, powers here, I'd say. We somehow managed to get to the ASOL, which means it tells me, essentially, that it's biddable. It's definitely doable. But I think something is probably wrong in terms of the strategy here. So I'm going to have to go back into the dungeon for that one and essentially work things out. But uh, yeah, we are going to end things here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's really such a shame that we couldn't make this work but if you did enjoy this video consider leaving a like as well as subscribing i really do appreciate the support but most importantly it's so that you don't miss which episodes or uploads of legends or Terra or path of champions content just like this one and with that being said this is Kavala signing off thank you all so much for watching thanks for joining me as well hopefully i catch you guys in the next one goodbye